Even though Rick isn't in Rick and Morty Season 7, Episode 8, the episode still contains some of the best comedy the show has yet to deliver this season. Season 7 of Rick and Morty had to alter the show's plot due to voice actor Justin Worland's departure. The show unavoidably felt different after Rick and Morty's original voices were substituted. But Rick and Morty Season 7 capitalized on this with a run of wild episodes that changed the chemistry between the show's main heroes and challenged fans' preconceptions of it. As the last few episodes of Rick and Morty Season 7 air this year, the show has taken a significant turn by centering on the reappearance of Water Tea. The most recent episode of Rick and Morty follows up on a cliffhanger that was left unfinished in previous seasons, continuing the tradition of the show of turning gags into jokes that viewers witness play out years later. Previously believed to be merely a post-credits gag, Ice-T's true affiliation with a sentient letter species is now being further explored by Rick and Morty. When we last saw Ice-T, it was revealed in the Get Schwifty episode of Season 2 that he was actually Water Tea, not just a sentient chunk of ice. It was previously believed that this post-credits joke would remain unsolved. However, after a few seasons, Rick and Morty have returned to Water Tea's battle against the Numbericons, with him reaching out to Mr. Goldenfold for assistance in deciphering the arithmetic required to beat the numerical foe. Everything that occurred in Rise of the Numbericons, the movie, the eighth episode of Rick and Morty Season 7 is listed below. A recap goes over again, as seen at the conclusion of the Get Schwifty episode, Ice-T soon returns to his home planet of Alpha Betrium. However, after his exile ends and he assumes the name Water T, his father is slain by the invading Numbericans. Thankfully though, we get to witness what occurs next as Water T defeats a significant portion of the invading armies on her own before erecting a forest field with a numerical bracket to keep them out. Then it is revealed that he actually received something called the Eye of Harmony from his dying father, but he requires a math pro to translate it. Then, Water Tea jokes that he knows someone on Earth who is capable of doing it. When Ice Tea, who now goes by Water Tea, arrives at Morty's school after the opening credits, it becomes clear that he and Mr. Goldenfold had a falling out in the past since Ice Tea owes him a ton of homework. Goldenfold said that he attempted to teach Water Tea arithmetic as a child but he refused to learn when Morty inquired about their pasts. But he needs Goldenfold's assistance to rescue his home now that it's under jeopardy. After that, Goldenfold boards Water T's ship, dragging Morty, who was detained for not turning in his math assignment, with him. Goldenfold knows that the Pythagorean theorem is present in the Eye of Harmony, but he still needs to find a solution. Goldenfold then gives another glimpse into their past, revealing that they had once become friends as T grew more interested in math as it helped him with his rap. Morty then presses for additional information about why things fell apart between Goldenfold and Water Tea. After discovering that the formula points to a planet called E10, Goldenfold sends Alpha Batrium the coordinates, only for Oxygen Nest to turn out to be a secret villain and betray him. On their way to E10, Water Tea and the others come into a tribe of Aboriginal symbols who worship the Eye of Harmony. As a result, they throw an Ewok-style celebration for them to which Morty quips that they're having a great time. When Ice-T wins an award, Goldenfold is seen dining with the president, who was known as Governor Curtis at the time, revealing more about their history together. That Ice-T gets all the credit for it, which infuriated Curtis so much that he ended Goldenfold's relationship, because he believed Goldenfold was lying about knowing Ice-T and wouldn't assist him in using math and rap to win the vote. In the meantime, Sinister Seven, the Numbericans, second in command, makes an attempt to seize the Eye of Harmony. They fight as Water T catches up to her, but through a series of visions, the Eye of Harmony shows they truly belong together in a kind of harmony. But Lord Dreadnought, Seven's father, shows up before they can figure it out. Here Oxygen as confesses that he is in fact the number eight. Ice T reveals the truth about what actually transpired after he accepted the award when they are apprehended. It is revealed that Ice T rejected Goldenfold's assistance because his father didn't like the way he approached arithmetic. After obtaining all of the power the Numbericans were pursuing, Number 8 transforms into the Infinity Symbol. After eliminating Lord Dreadnought and seizing control of the Numbericans, they proceed to Alpha Betrium. They go to the planet to help save it when Water T uses the strength of his Ice T form to help release the others. Alpha Betrium and all letters and digits are being destroyed by Infinity in the meantime. When Sinister Seven objects to this, Infinity seeks to annihilate her. 
Then Seven reveals that even though a piece of ceiling fell on Waterty's father, it was the one who poisoned it. Therefore, in reality, Waterty's father was killed in an assassination. Consequently, Infinity is the greatest foe of the letters and the numerals. After that, Golden Fold, Water T, Morty, and Sinister Seven finally get together and sing a song to aid in taking down Infinity. When the song concludes, Water T's father reappears as a force ghost and gives her the kingdom along with additional abilities to become Magma T. After that, Magma T kisses Seven to activate the Eye of Harmony, which transforms into a gun that shoots Infinity in the genitalia. After that, Magma T and Seven had a happy ending. Once back on Earth, Morty and Magma T complete the homework that Golden Fold has been requesting for a long time. When Ice Q appears in the post credit sequence, he begs for assistance and mentions that they are going on a new journey together.